Hey y'all, welcome back man. Today is it's kind of a sad day man, because I don't know if many people heard the news, but the wonderful man, Mr. Nipsey Hussle, has passed away. Um, got shot in front of his store uh, when he was in Los Angeles. Guess uh, they don't know the full details of it and whatever else is going on, but you just know that uh, he was rushed to the hospital, he got shot six times, and he unfortunately passed away. Um, Sad day, man. And the reason I feel some type of way about it is really for three to five good reasons, man. Um, one of the reasons is because every it seemed like every time a young black man from either the hood or just a young black man in general decide to do something good, man, it's always some type of circumstance to come through and clip off the wings of, of those that are flying, man. Um, and I'm trying to put it in the lightest terms I can because you know um, I really want to go all the way in on some stuff but um it's it's not my place somewhat to say you know what I'm saying to, to make speculations and I'm gonna wait till everything actually come out before I really you know dive into it a lot a lot I'm just giving you all the reasons why I'm kind of mad that this has even happened you know and especially to somebody like my homeboy Nipsey Hussle you know what I'm saying I don't know the man personally no but through his music, I felt like I knew the man personally because he related to almost everybody that I knew. So with him passing, it's sort of like one of my people passing because he was he was kind of loved like that, man. And I grew up with his music as well, like his underground hits and stuff. I was I was on Nipsey since I was a young dude. So um, I, I knew how he rolled. You know, I'm nothing but I'm four years older than the dude, but he's been circulating, you know what I'm saying, since I was like a teenager. So... I didn't been hearing about him, you know what I'm saying? I heard about him way back then and way back when, and it's always respected his hustle, man. You know what I'm saying? He was one of the cats to turn down a major record deal in order to do his own thing and actually did his own thing. You know what I'm saying? Even when he sold his tape, his mixtape, one of his mixtapes for like 100 bucks, man, and people was laughing at him. And actual people were like, nah, man, that's kind of cool. He think his, you know what I'm saying? He feel that his work and his worth is worth exactly that. So that's what he charged it. And he actually sold a lot and made a lot on his own. So people respected that. And they was like, well, who is this little dude? So they checked into him. People got to know him. He started buzzing, rotating, boom, blew himself up, man. And for the last couple of years, Nip been going hard, you know what I'm saying? He cleaned up his act since a younger, a younger G and got himself into a good spot in life, man, just to be took out like this. Now, you know what I'm saying? The second reason this is kind of get under my skin is because everybody's going to make speculation because of the, the Dr. Sabidi um, documentary. Now, I may or may not feel some type of way about that, but I save that for something totally different. Now is not the case. Um, if it's anywhere near linked to that, then y'all already know how the game go, man. If you know too much, then they got to put you down. You know what I'm saying? And, that, and that's kind of weak. That's real weak, like, man. But that ain't that ain't for me to step. You know what I'm saying? That ain't for me to put on a pair of shoes and step to. So I'm, not, I'm just going to leave that alone. But just in the essence, man, it's just a horrible thing that another young black man that was doing his thing was well respected was climbing up in the charts is now took out going in the game why simply because of something man of something it didn't nobody know nipsey didn't have no problem with nobody like that nipsey didn't have enemies in the game like that you ain't hear nobody dips in it this and nipsey and um saying nothing crazy about nipsey hustle you didn't hear none of that in this in out, out here you know what i'm saying in the rap game you know what I'm saying? People respected him. Every time you heard about Nipsey doing something, it was like, yo, young homie Nip. You know what I'm saying? Little homie Nip. Big homie Nip. He doing stuff. He rotating. He moving. You seen him with Bloods. You seen him with Crips. You seen him with GDs. You seen him with Vice Lord. You seen him with everybody. You seen him basically bringing people together, molding the culture, helping the culture, man, doing stuff for the culture, man, getting these young little gangbangers to say, yo, 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 we ain't got to kill these cats, man. We can actually work with them build something get something more and then pass that on to the younger locs that's coming up in the game not only here in california los angeles but worldwide you know what i'm saying for all the people of color you know what i'm saying it's basically it was like helping people of color mentally get over the fact that it's a, a barrier in front of their face and they need to either push it down 
or find people to help them lift it up and throw it behind them you know what I'm saying so they can move on and that's what he was doing you know what I'm saying so third of all it was just kind of it's kind of sad that now he gone from his kids his family his girl um all the, the ventures that he was on and now it has to be put to a halt and all the ones that's now got to be took off the board because he's no longer in the equation you know what i'm saying and i know if, if his mom and them, dad and all of them is still alive man i know this is a crucial blow you know what i'm saying he was if he was loved in the culture i know he was loved within his family and his close friends and all of them so that's got to just be a blow for everybody that was in his corner corner you know what i'm saying and i feel for them most of all because i'm not attached to him like that i just felt that he helped our culture out a lot man and he helped the music game out a lot he helped a lot of people including myself you know what i'm saying decide to go independent when it's time to go independent you know what i'm saying so it was just a whole shock value you know what i'm saying that was just me being a michigan state fan Right after Michigan State wins, I I see this, and I can't be super happy about us winning because I gotta now come to y'all and make this video about my homeboy, Young Nip man, getting took out in front of his his own clothing store in Los Angeles, man. Who who would have thought of that, man? Who would have put the eyes on that? Who would have known that that man woke up this morning thinking? I'm finna go do something with life and I'm finna go do something with my kids and my wife and something today and not even be able to make it back home, man. That is crazy, man. So just in a nutshell, man, all my brothers, y'all, watch what you do. Watch what you say. Be safe out here. Do it like Nip. Do it, man. Clean yourself up, man, and make something good out here. You know what I mean? Don't sully your name. Don't throw salt down. You know what I'm saying? Even if you got slugs behind you, just, just dodge them, man. You know what I'm saying? So my condolences is to Nipsey Hussle family, his friends, his close, close friends, and all his, his business partners, man. And rest in peace, Nip Nip, man. Sad thing, man. Rest in peace, man. See you at the other end. I'm out.